If you want to offer subscriptions to your customers and you have a WordPress website, I have the solution for you. It's a WordPress plugin called WP Subscriptions, and it's super easy to set up. Now, this is our main website, and they are currently running a big sale on AppSumo, which you can grab right now for $69 for a single website. You'll get all the features, no monthly payments for a single price right here. If you need more websites, jump into tier two. And if you think you have a bunch of websites and you have customers that might need this WordPress plugin, you can grab the unlimited version for $409. So it's a bit expensive, but you get unlimited websites. Now, how easy is it to use this on a WordPress website? Well, just go ahead and install the plugin and I'm gonna show you how to use it right now. But before I do that, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. I am using their hosting plan to host the WordPress plugin. And this is their managed WordPress hosting that has AI built into it. So they have plans available from $1.99 a month to $6.99 a month for the WordPress hosted version. I'm going to grab the most popular one to show you how to apply a coupon code. Plus you'll get a free domain, you'll get up to 50 websites installations on this plan. And it's just a great balance of the price for what you're going to get. Now, first thing that Hostinger is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend the 48 months because the price is going to be even lower than paying 24 or less. So grab 48 months and then add my coupon code over here. So click on have a coupon code and type in or paste in my coupon code. And the price is going to drop to $129 with 17 cents for four years paid off. So that is a fantastic deal if you ask me. All right. So back to my WordPress plugin and how to use WP subscription. First thing you need to do is obviously, obviously install the plugin, add the license key, and you'll get access to all the features. I would recommend that you first go to the settings so you make sure that everything is set up the way you want, and then I'm gonna show you how to create one of these subscriptions. So first off, the renewal process, do you want it to be automatic or manual? That means that when you set a subscription to be a one-year subscription, do you want it to auto renew without asking or do you want to have a manual renewal process? That's a really important key feature that you need to decide if you want to have automatic or manual. You can have a renewal card notice, which is also a good idea. The Stripe auto renewal feature, this is going to tell Stripe that this is an auto renewal and they don't need to be asked every single time. So you're allowing them and they are previously accepting that they're going to be having an auto renewal so just go through these right here which are really important then we have the subscriber default role which is the role that is going to be tied to when they subscribe to one of these subscriptions now by default it's set to subscriber but you might want to have a different role just go ahead and create the role and then select it right here then you have the subscriber inactive role so it's going to be set to customer when it's not a subscriber so automatically it's going to make the switch then you have the renewal price, so subscribe price or a new updated price. And you have early renewal. Do you want to accept that or not? So for example, someone might say uh, before the year hits, I might want to renew and you'll allow them in this case. If you don't want to allow that, just go ahead and turn this off. Then you have the option to set the, the guest checkout. Do you want to allow this or not? Yeah, I would say yes, but it's up to you if you want to do that or not. Okay. And then you can enforce login. So these are the grace periods that you can set up right here. Just go through these and set the amount of days that you want to set up for the grace and a little bit more of details here for other type of settings. Once you kick this off, creating a subscription is super easy. You do need WooCommerce installed to be aware. So you need the plugin, WP subscriptions and WooCommerce. And in products, we're going to go into add a new product. Here we go. We're going to name our product. I'm going to say small plan and I'm just going to say description for this obviously get a good description and add it right here the uh, same what you're going to offer what you're not going to offer etc all right and down here is the type of product that you want to set so you got virtual downloadable and subscription in this case we want to enable subscription because that's what we want to use and it automatically pops up this brand new menu first off let's set the regular price i'm going to say it's a hundred dollars and the sell price is 19 dollars okay then we're going to go into the subscriptions tab right here and then this is where we're going to set up the subscription setting so in this case the payment type is it going to be recurring or do we want to allow split payment in this case we want to do recurring and then repeat payments every for example every day that would be crazy but you can say for example every month or every year for example every one year this is going to renew if it's going to be every five years every two years just go ahead and set it up right here do you want to allow a free trial duration and i'm going to say yes 14 days for the free trial is there going to be a sign up fee in this case no but you can add one right here the role based settings so this is going to be visible to specific roles in this case no we're going to leave it blank 
uh, deliverable settings for example deliverable schedule i'm going to say that this is going to be deliverable in case this is something that i need to deliver manually i set the days right here synchronized schedule and the advanced settings do i want to change the deep button text right here and it's a custom option to set a different text allow users to cancel yes or no so in this case i'm going to allow and the activation limit no limit i can set a limit right here if i want to now on the right we have a few settings like the product image i can also add a gallery i'm just going to add this random image for testing purposes the product gallery uh, i'm going to add the same image again just for testing purpose i can add a brand new category i'm going to say subscription let's go ahead and add that right now and let's set to that product tags go ahead and add your tags right here if there's some brands if there's a short description just go ahead and add that right here let's go ahead and publish this and we now have a subscription system to start offering to our clients now this is super basic but it's just to give you an idea of how this works so let's go ahead and check out the small plan so the small plan is 19 dollars a year there's a 14 day free trial here and there's no description because i didn't add anything i just said description for the description i can also do reviews here if i want to allow that let's go ahead and add this to cart here we go let's go ahead and view our cart and here we go so this is the small plan it's an it's 19 dollars every year free trial for 14 days it's one item so it's one plan i can add a coupon here if i create one it's tied to woocommerce so that is allowed and you can see here first billing on january 27th so that means that it's in 14 days from now because there's a free trial and you can see here you can cancel subscription at any time proceed to checkout and go through the checkout process like you would with any other type of checkout system so adding a subscription system into your wordpress website is no big deal at all so using this plugin to have a subscription system for freelancers advertisers church donations it's a really easy way to start accepting payments right now that are going to be charged every amount of period that you set so monthly yearly bi-annually or whatever however you want to set that up but it's super easy so grabbing the ltd right now makes sense if this is something that you need right now so let me know here in the comments what you think about WP subscriptions and what you would like to see in the future. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.